Hi, my name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. And today I thought we'd take some time and go through some of the free VSTs that are available out there to you right now to uh, make some music with. Um, a lot of people are constantly asking like about how to get started and stuff like that. And there's a billion different answers to that. But one of them is, you know, where do I get the synths and stuff to, uh, to do the thing? And um, I've been recommending this uh, website, uh, L-A-N-D-R, Lander, for a while. They have a big series of lists about free VSTs and free VST effects. And um, I thought I'd finally like dive into it and see exactly what they were offering. So uh, this is going to be a run through of the effects and synths that they have listed on there. I went and tried to download every single one. Um, if it required too much sign in or too much sign up, I did not get it. If it, it required an account with like iLock or something like that, I did not get it. If it did not run in 64 bit, I did not get it. And uh, yeah, so what we have left is what made it through. So let's uh, let's start with effects, okay? Uh, let's go over to audio effects. No, I'm lying. Let's go to plugins. And here's here's my free folder. I made a little free folder. And uh, here's all the effects. So uh, here's sort of a list of all of the uh, the stuff that I got. Um, you know, what kind of effect it is. Uh, we're actually going to sort A through Z here. Um, we're going to start with compressors and move through delays, distortions, and all this kind of stuff. And then we got synths and stuff down here. So uh, I'll give you this list as well because it's pretty useful to have all of this stuff here. I'll put the list link in the description. You can grab it if you want. Yeah, and you can even see if it's available for OS X too, if that's your thing. So let's start with compressors. I'm going to grab the TDR on the Kolokov and we're gonna drop it on our record group before this limiter. So uh, first of all, what's a compressor? A compressor is a dynamics plugin that using these settings here will reduce the dynamic range of the signal coming in. So based on the threshold, which is a certain amount um, and the ratio, it will squash the signal and uh, compression is a very, very useful tool um, in small amounts and in large amounts. So let's hear how this thing sounds. Uh, first of all, uh, I will say that all the stuff from TDR is fantastic. Um, they're free and paid stuff. I've been using a bunch of their stuff and uh, it's great. I, I can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic. So uh, I think that compressors sound really, really easy to hear on drums. So let's go ahead and pick out. So right now the compressor's not doing anything. You can see that the gain reduction is at zero. So we're gonna decrease the threshold. All right. Now you can see that that kick drum and that snare are really getting compressed. If we turn the ratio down, they'll get compressed a little bit less. One of the other things that compressors are cool for is that they will bring out room tone if that's what you want. If you want your uh, you want your loop to sound a little dirtier, you can do that. So I like to abuse compressors quite a bit. Let's go through these settings real quick. Um, threshold is the threshold at which the plugin will start to work. Ratio is the amount of squashy squash. Sometimes they go up higher than seven. Uh, they'll go to infinite. We'll actually see some that do that. Attack is the amount of time it takes for the compressor to kick in. Zero, it means it's going to kick in immediately after that threshold gets hit. Release peak, I'm not really sure what this does in this case. Um, oh, uh, so it has two settings for release. Um, and this is how long the compressor takes to return to zero. Um, this is a great one to start with because you can see that uh, there's a lot of visual feedback here. So. One of the things I also like about this one is um, when you're compressing content, the low frequencies generally have the most energy. So being able to sort of side chain, or in this case, low frequency relax, the response of the compressor will sometimes get you a little bit more um, uh, natural results, or you know, you'll be able to compress the other content a bit better. The other thing that this one has, which is really, really good, is a dry mix. And if you turn this to 50, excuse me, if you turn it all the way up, you're now doing what's called parallel compression. And this is a super, super popular thing to do, especially with drums and stuff like that, where you want maybe like an incredibly compressed signal for some reason, but you also want that original signal. So now you can hear we have the original single signal and that cool pumped signal in the background. So I'm gonna AB this. So it's got a little bit more vibe. That's the TDR 
whole 10 off compressor. Very, very good. Definitely recommended out of the compressors that I have downloaded. Um, this one purports to be sort of an analog uh, emulating compressor, you know, if that's your thing. Let's go back to that same loop. So very, very simple here. We have some um, speed controls, attack and release, like we talked about before. We have threshold and we have makeup. And then we have a little limiter built into it if you want that, so. Okay, that's actually a really nice pump. You can hear we got all kinds of crazy background noise in the loop there, that ambience being like brought up again. So yeah, with drums, that fast release gives you all of that stuff to come pumping back, almost like it's side-chaining itself. That's pretty nice, actually. So with compressors, they, they either have to be extremely easy to use or uh, sound really, really good, either impart some kind of character for me to care about it. Um, this, for me, would be a little bit of a one-trick pony. Uh, I probably would use it exactly like this <laughs> on drums. Um, it's okay. Uh, not bad. I would want to do some more work to this before I uh, before I called it good. The Klanghelm DC One A, Klang Klanghelm. Um, like TDR, Klanghelm is a full of great stuff. I recommend checking out their their page. They have a lot of wonderful plugins, and I th I've used a bunch of them. They have some great saturators and stuff like that. We'll get to later. So this guy's pretty simple, like the last one we had, actually, very similar. Um, deep and relaxed, I'm assuming, are going to be similar to the um, uh, attack and release controls of the previous, but they're sort of baked in. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to... So in this case, you don't have control over ratio or threshold, per se. Um, this is kind of like an old uh, leveling amplifier, almost. Um, so the input is going to create the uh, ratio and threshold controls sort of for you automatically. Okay, that's really nice. I really like that pumping effect. That's super, super nice. Oh, that's crazy. Sort of an expander. Yeah, this is nice. I would hang on to this one. Does it sound like on, like, this? Oh, you can do deep and relaxed at the same time. That's how I like. I like to be deep and relaxed. Anyways, this is nice. I would keep this... I would keep this one uh, over... I would keep this one over the previous one that we messed with, um, over the free uh, 87 one. I like I like the sound of that one a lot better. So, so far, the winners are the TDR and the DC-1A3. The uh, Mujik Jr., also by Klanghelm. Let's see what they did with this one. Mujik Jr., come here. Boop. Okay. Um, another uh, a leveling amplifier sort of thing, like a LA-2A or um, 1176, which are two extremely expensive, nice vintage compressors. We're going to do that same loop that you're going to get super tired of. I like it on slow. I'm curious. Let's do this real quick. So of those two, I like the sound for this particular um, type of application. I like the sound of the Majuk a little bit better. Um, it's rounder. Uh, it's got a little bit more transient presence to it. Um, I like it. I would keep both and experiment a little bit to see what worked with uh, what. But yeah, these are the Klanghelm stuff is definitely a keeper. So uh, leveling amplifier compressors, and then I would keep the uh, TDR for a regular compressor. 
wonderful. Hey, thanks for watching my series on the best free VSTs of all time, according to the Lander website. If you'd like to check out one of the other videos about different effects or synthesizers, click one of the links above. And uh, yeah, I hope that you're just, I hope that you're doing great. I hope that today is is special for you and that that things things are things are good. If they're not good right now, they're gonna be good later. That's sometime, you know, you're, you're good.